Paul Newman had a very classic, effective and simple style that I think the majority of men could outright copy and look fantastic in. Unlike a star such as James Dean, Newman's image isn't defined by one particular outfit. In fact, he looked just as natural being photographed in a dinner jacket as he did with his shirt off. Even though Newman didn't follow trends, he definitely had a slightly preppy edge to his looks. It was very American, specifically New England. He didn't take much influence from European styles. Newman spent a lot of time racing. He enjoyed being on boats. He had a very relaxed, easygoing attitude, and I think that was reflected in the clothes he wore. So let's jump right into it and look at some classic essential pieces from Paul Newman. When it comes to shirts, it seems like the Oxford cloth button down was his favorite, especially in white. Newman liked to wear some of the buttons undone, even on the collar. Um, he liked to wear it quite unbuttoned, roll the sleeves up. He wasn't afraid to look quite rugged and relaxed in his shirts. He also liked the polo shirt, the western shirt, even a Henley. But most often he would opt for white or a neutral color or a stripe. When it came to his trousers, Newman liked chinos, but unusually for a stylish man, he often wore shorts, especially if he was out on a boat or just relaxing in his free time. Newman liked to layer up with some v-neck sweaters, both in light and dark tones. And when it came to his footwear, Newman was surprisingly youthful and preppy. He liked loafers, but most distinctly, he really liked these Sperry canvas shoes. So a low top sneaker, paired with the chinos and an Oxford cloth button down was quite a distinctive look for Newman. Now he wore white socks with these shoes, but I think if you're going for a modern look, then pairing them with a pair of no-show socks might bring it up to date a little. Overall, Newman did prefer white and stone colors that complemented his fair hair and his blue eyes. When it came to his suits, he was a bit more conservative, opting for dark tones, single-breasted suits, and he liked knitted ties too, which were very popular with other Hollywood icons of the time, like Cary Grant and Sean Connery. Now Newman was a black tie master and he liked to play by the rules and he looked excellent in a tuxedo. But that didn't mean he wouldn't also wear his pair of favorite sunglasses with the dinner suit. With everything that Newman wore over the decades, he was never too slim, never too baggy. The fit was always just right. Even as fashion trends in the 50s, 60s and 70s came and went, Newman stuck with the classics. And I think that's one of the reasons his style looks so enduring and timeless today. When it came to accessories, Newman was quite the minimalist, but he did have a couple of pieces that he loved to wear again and again. His favorite was the tortoise shell aviators. Now these stand out from regular aviators because most men wear aviators with metal frames, but Newman opted for these ones with a plastic tortoise shell frame. Newman's brand of choice was surprisingly affordable, so I'm gonna tell you where you can buy a very similar style at the end of the video. Not so affordable was his taste in wristwatches. Newman's most famous watch is the Rolex Daytona, and these go over tens of thousands of dollars. He really enjoyed the chronograph style, especially it related to his love for racing. So I'm gonna share with you later in the video a affordable alternative to the Daytona that you can wear under $200. He also liked dress watches, which have a leather strap. And generally when he wore one of those, on the other wrist, he would have a Cuban steel link bracelet. Occasionally Newman would throw on a statement ring, but overall he wasn't a huge guy for accessories, much like many men of his age. So how do we recreate the Paul Newman look ourselves? Well, overall, the pieces are not that complicated. They're very classic and you might already own a lot of them. I think the trick to Newman's style is his cool, effortless nonchalance. But how do we achieve that when we're not Hollywood A-listers? Well, I think it's more about being comfortable and relaxed in the clothes. And that comes with practice. Newman wore a lot of the same pieces over and over again, which allowed them to feel like a second skin. You can do this by simply picking out outfits that you enjoy, wearing them time and time again, even at home, so they feel very comfortable and easygoing for you. Also, feel free to unbutton things like the collar of your shirt, roll your sleeves up. You know, Newman had a very relaxed and easygoing attitude. He's often photographed with a cigarette out of his mouth or a bottle of beer in hand. But that being said, he took great care of his body. He actually started going to the gym and weightlifting seriously in an effort to increase his sex appeal, which led to him becoming a more successful actor. But maintaining the slim, muscular physique 
also helped him look good in a greater variety of clothing. It's always easier to look stylish in any type of clothes if the body underneath them is in good condition. So if you want to recreate Paul Newman's style, I've picked out a few essential pieces and I have some suggestions for where you might want to pick them up from. So firstly, the Oxford cloth button-down shirt is an absolute essential. I don't know exactly where Newman bought his from, but I imagine it might have been Brooks Brothers. That was definitely the elite menswear brand for American men at the time, worn by most actors and politicians in the 1960s. Then I would grab a pair of chinos in a stone color, and I look for about 3% stretch in my chinos, just to give them that little extra bit of comfort, and then the rest of them will be made of cotton. For the shoes, I would absolutely pick up a pair of Sperry's, they're very inexpensive, or you could go for a low top converse if you prefer. Then I would grab a v-neck sweater to throw over the top. Spear and Mackay make great affordable high quality knitwear like this piece here. It's $98 for a 100% merino wool sweater. And what I really like about this one is that it has a deeper V than you see on most modern sweaters. It gives it that vintage old Hollywood edge that is very authentic to the Paul Newman look. Then it's time to get those great aviator sunglasses. Paul Newman's brand of choice was Carrera and I found that you can actually pick up very similar styles to what he wore on Amazon for between $50 and $60. So I'll put the link in the description to that along with the rest of the pieces I'm talking about here. For that affordable version of the Rolex Daytona, check out this chronograph watch from Timex. This has such a rugged and masculine appeal that I think you could wear this as your sole accessory for the outfit. But Newman was definitely a watch guy, so if you're trying to recreate his style, I would pick up a few different watches that you can interchange and really embrace wearing this accessory. When you're wearing a dress watch, maybe you'll throw on a Cuban bracelet on the other wrist and wear a statement ring from time to time. But overall, that's how you create the Newman look. It's not that complicated. I think most guys can pull this off and you probably don't need to buy too many pieces to start copying his outfits. But it's this effortless cool, this nonchalance that really makes Newman's style so classic. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that it's been useful for me to pick out some specific examples of things you could buy. Going to be continuing the Style Icon series next week with one of my personal style heroes. Somebody recommended him in the comments and I was so excited that somebody feels the same way as I do. So I will see you in the next one guys.